Hello Booktube, it's Ben here from the History Fella channel. Um, today's um, video is about books, but they're not really books that you spend much time reading. But um, So with this difference I'll real reveal why. And the books we're going to look at, I'm going to try and get the glare away from them. Books. These are model maker books. Got the M and one, the M1 Abrahams, the U.S. main battle tank in American and foreign service from eighty one to twenty twenty, and they're part of the tank craft range, which is published by Pen and Sword Books, and this particular book is written by David Grummet. Now I've got seven books here. If I show you, if I quickly go through the books and show you them, and then I can explain what's so good about the books. Um, you've got that one, the M1 Abrams. You've got the Panzer III, the German Army light tank, which took part in the Operation Barbarossa. You've got the Tiger One and Tiger Two tanks for the German Army and the Waffen SS, and they took part in the Northern Normandy campaign. And then you've got the Panther medium tank, and um, that one was um, part of the Panzer Corps that took part on the Eastern Front in 1944. We've got Panther tanks, German Army Panzer Brigades, Western and Eastern Fronts, that's 44 to 45. And then the last tank one I've got is the Tiger One. That's the German Army Heavy Tank, which fought on the Southern Front, um, mainly in Northern Africa, Italy and Sicily. So they're the tank ones, and then I've got one more, which is the P-51 Mustang. This one's obviously about the Mustang plane, so this one's slightly different to the other ones. But if I show you what's good them about them, is their books basically targeted at model makers. So if you're into um, like World of War or World of Tanks sort of thing, and you like to build your own models, then you can get these books that focus on in particular tanks. But during the book you have you have an excellent history written about the individual tanks, where they were used, what operations they took part in, their theatre of war. So with all that knowledge, it then starts showing you how to do the actual models and of course in every theatre of war that the tanks are involved in there's a different camouflage let me see if I can find you got some there then it'll give you an, act, an actual graphic picture and the camouflage design on the tanks as well. It just means that for those that like doing their model making authentically, they can then copy the design of the camouflage and get the right, correct paints and the colours and make it look um, authentic, authentic as possible. Um, the history, the history in the books, um, you can probably read through in a few hours, 
but the, the history is accurate. It's full of maps, diagrams, calendar of events, and they're they're actually an excellent read. So if you're into model model making, um, I would certainly recommend these books. They're part of the Tank Craft series from Pen and Sword Books. And the layout of the book is pretty much the same in all of the, all of the um, tank subject books, and as well as also the the Mustang one. It's the same with this one as well. It gives you all the artwork. All the various models, and it gives you a story about you know the theatre of wars they were involved in. But they're really good books. Although in, in some people might you know poo, -poo them because they're kind of more aimed at model makers, they are very good and historically very accurate. So that's it. Um, seven books on tanks for model makers. Um, if you're into model making, get in touch. Um, drop us a line of what you think below this video. Um, if you've done any of the um, models of the tanks that I haven't got books for here, then let us know what you do do. And on that do-do note, um, we'll end there. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, um, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel and we'll do more different books around history. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.